Does this mean I'm double, double, double fisting it? <laughs> you are double, double. <laughs> <laughs> That's double, 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 double fisting it. Then I'm double, 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 double fisting it. Double, 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 double fisting it? No, double, 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 double fisting it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll take one. Thank okay. you. Yep. <laughs> Hi, I'm Charlie. And I'm Liz. And we are the Adventure Closet. And today, we're going camping in British Columbia. So come along with us. Come on. Hi, I'm Liz, and this is Charlie. We've been living and traveling in our minivan Opal for two years now. And we love taking you guys on new and spontaneous adventures. So hop in the van, and let's go somewhere. Just left the highway. Let's go find some camping outside of Banff National Park. That's right. This is how we gotta do it for free. We are in it deep. We just saw something run across the road that could have been a bobcat or a lynx or something. It was too big to be a rabbit. Too fast to be anything else. Yeah. Ooh, look at the silhouette. Here. Wow. What a pretty area. Yeah. That's a bridge thing. It's a beautiful morning out here. I can't wait to show you guys what this spot looks like, where we just kind of tucked in. 
Um, there's wildflowers everywhere. It's so pretty. Cleaning off the Saskatoons for our pancakes. Yeah. Don't mind that one, that's the first one. The first one's always bad. Not many people know this, but there's a reason. Because I can't use copyrighted music in our videos. But we like to listen to reggae in the mornings while we cook. Um, there's a Spotify playlist called Reggae Essentials. And there's a few really good songs on Most of those songs are good, but maybe we'll create a Spotify playlist so that you guys can see what we listen to in the mornings. Those Saskatoons are awesome and being big. Um, all this maple syrup is so good. So is our view. I'm not one for berries in my pancakes, but the Saskatoon berries are pretty good in the pancakes. Uh, so. Thumbs up for me too. Mm. We're leaving that spot to see if we can find a shadier spot to park Opal so our ice doesn't melt in a day. Um, and maybe get a little more off the road. It's possible. It's so pretty out here. It is. Can't wait to explore. Look at those mountain peaks up there. That's amazing. Wow, look at those layers. That is a beautiful mountain. Yeah. Gosh. That's cool. About to get back in the van here, and I found this rock that has pyrite copper in it. See the copper and the pyrite? Oh, yeah. That's like real copper. Wow. That's a cool piece. Yeah. It's a little big for opal, but. Maybe we'll break it down later.
So we saw this on the map. This is Marion Lake Recreation Site. And decided to go check it out. Because it looks like there's camping down this way. And it would be cool if we had a lake for ourselves. We My are, guess is we won't. <laughs> we are way out here though. We are very far out. Uh, probably 50 kilometers from pavement. And we haven't seen anybody. For a while. Yeah. Nobody out this way. We haven't seen anybody since first leaving the highway. Yeah. Now there might be a reason. There might be mosquitoes. Lots of them. Swaths of them. And this is not in the national park, so it's free camping. And uh, it's also not on iOverlander or any of the other sites that I've checked. And we owe a huge thanks to our friend Greg who told us about the area. You saw him in our last video. This is exactly our kind of roads and scenery that we love. Yeah. Uh-oh. And there's Lake Marion. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it looks like we can get through that, I think. Never want to trust it. Let's do a test. You wait here, I'll go test. So Charlie says never trust a mud puddle to drive through. Especially because you're way far from civilization when you're out, civilization when you're on a mountain road. So you've probably seen us in other videos. Usually it says tripod or that shovel. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like we're good to go. So it looks like there's campsites right here. There's a pit toilet over there. It says do not hold campsites. Uh, sites must be occupied for the purpose of camping. Vehicles, trailers, tents, or other personal property left unattended may be removed at the owner's expense. Good. I like that. Campfires are prohibited in this area. Okay, so. Boat launch. There. Let's go launch Opal. It would be so cool if Opal was amphibious. Oh man. Oh the places we'd go. And then if she could like convert to like tank oh we might have to walk to the lake. Oh yeah. Always check the mud puddles. <laughs> yeah, mud puddles are a must on checking. <laughs> but just plow through everything else. Yeah. That's why our muffler makes noise. <laughs> it shows another campsite up here. Oh, really? Okay. But that might have been off that one room. Yeah, I know. Opal needs to be amphibious and then, ooh. There's oh my dog. goodness. <gasps> that is beautiful. Heck yeah, you guys. Oh, but what was it? Yeah, she needs to be able to convert to being amphibious and then she needs um, uh, tank tracks. Oh. Yes. All those waters are like emerald green. It's oh, beautiful. Looks like you could camp here. Wow, you can see <laughs> the bottom of that lake. Oh my gosh. And it's all ours. Nobody's here. Let's get out.
big guys are weird feeling. So we're leaving this area because uh, apparently the uh, the fire guy came and he said that we can't camp there by the, the lake, which that's fine. We, we kind of figured that you couldn't camp by the lake. Um, but it was a beautiful spot. Sat and swam and fed the fishes. He also told us about this other spot that's by a creek. And he says he never sees anybody camping there, which sounds like our spot, definitely. Um, so we're gonna go check that out and see if uh, we like it. So the uh, ranger guy that we ran into, he gave us directions, as I think Charlie told you, uh, to this better campsite. And we saw just past this orange arrow up here, and I think, I'm kind of wondering if it was him that did that for us, because we told him we were going to head there, and he said he had to patrol here. So um, if he did, that's super nice. It's definitely new. Alright, snag that up. Alright. Marcel <laughs> for suggesting this. This is nice. Super private spot. Oh look at the mountain view. And there's even a toilet here. All these rocks to dig through. Looks like somebody made a bath. Yeah, not too warm. Uh, it's not as cold as the Beaver Creek.
it's a biting blanket. And they actually looks pretty clean in here. Wow, very clean. All right, it's a good thing it's just me and Charlie tonight because <laughs> we're having coleslaw with sauerkraut on top and then we're gonna have our uh, veggie sausages on top of that. And veggie sausages are made out of tofu, which tofu is made out of beans. So you guys do the math or the chemistry, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> Good night. Good night. That was lightning. Where's the thunder? Might be too far. Did you see that one? That was instant. Yes. Oh, this one's loud. He's circling. Checking for forest fires after last night. I wonder if they saw some. So we were just out here like doing dishes after breakfast and everything. And we heard these helicopters like whirring up above us and they kept circling and circling and we figured they were looking for wildfires because of the lightning last night and didn't really think anything of it just figured it was standard check but then we all of a sudden both at the same time started smelling smoke and there's a fire ban right now so it's a little concerning 
Charlie's gonna throw the drone up and see if he can see anything. It does look a little smoky over that way, doesn't it? That is kind of a small, small, small. Yeah. And there's only one way out of here, so we're gonna be extra cautious and check it out. Yeah. There's definitely a new wildfire, uh, but it's across the valley. So, let's see. I'm gonna scan again. That's it from here. I don't know if I want to be trapped down this road because there's only one way out of here and it's that way, the direction of the fire. True, but it is very far away for right now. But we shouldn't be smelling that one. Okay, so Charlie just spotted a little bit of smoke on the other side of us where those helicopters were circling. Um, it took him a while to find it, but he did. He's going to see if he can get closer with the drone. But seeing that one across the valley on top of that mountain, that is definitely a new fire. It wasn't there when we pulled in. We probably would have seen that. Uh, at that campsite that we checked out last night. So, we might have to consider moving. We'll see what, we'll see what the drone can see. 2,000 feet from us. That's pretty close, considering wildfire can travel Super fast if the wind picks up. So over a kilometer away. <laughs> a, kilometer away. a little less than a mile. To put that into perspective. See, we're learning our metric system. What do you think we should do? I don't know. I think we should monitor it and see if. Uh, We'll send the drone up again in about an hour, maybe. Okay. It's concerning that it's only 2,000 feet from us. We knew that lightning was close. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't know how close it was. <laughs> the strikes, it was like strike, thunder, strike, thunder. And we don't know if that happened last night because we never noticed this. It doesn't look like it happened last night, but it's cool looking. It is cool looking. So I guess we're gonna wait a little while and uh, maybe we'll check out some rocks. Wow, that is a pretty stone. Way cool.
giant conglomerate. It's beautiful. Wow. So this fire must be concerning to them because they are circling again in an airplane. That sucks because this is a really cool area. And uh, I don't want to have to leave. So it looks like he, uh, he just took off the other direction. I wonder if they'll get some ground crew out here to check it out. Not smelling much smoke uh, in the area, but there isn't a lot of wind also. So it is bad enough that they've uh, banned campfires for the weekend. Um, so it, that's also part of our concern. Um, it just kind of sucks that um, in such a beautiful camp spot. <laughs> that plane circled around two more times now. Checking on that fire. And so far nobody's come up to uh, tell us to leave. Okay, now I'm a little more concerned because that is two planes circling the fire. Uh, and that is a lot of resources to be putting on something that they think might just burn out. And that was a large plane. And you don't just fly a large plane out in the middle of the woods and do a high bank turn like that if something isn't concerning. So we may have to bail on this little beautiful camp area and hopefully it'll be here next time we come back that is quite a high bank turn for an aircraft like that and this is the other plane that's in the area still So they've been circling for a while. We did have quite the thunderstorm last night. So it is understandable that uh, they're checking out the area. But the fact that we saw smoke, it smelled smoke, it's concerning. Uh, yeah, so uh, like Liz said, we're, we're going to get the van packed up just in case we have to leave in a hurry. Just to be safe. There's that cool tree. He is banking around again for another shot. Isn't it multiple yeah. Like they sent the helicopters in to scout and then we're like, okay, let's send in the big guys. Well, and the planes will have more of uh, higher tech equipment. Yeah, well, they seem more agile too, like being able to circle a tighter. Well, the, but, and the helicopter is able to like just hover and mm -hmm. circle and, and get good shots of it at first. So this is definitely a fire of concern for the departments. I mean, a small small plane, which isn't even that small, and a large plane like that. Meanwhile, I'm just calmly bathing in the creek with rock hounding. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. It would still take a, a ranger probably a couple hours to get out to us to 
evacuate us and with how fast fire can spread. Um, I know it's not super windy right now, but it could in the evenings, especially in the mountains, um, when the temperatures start to cool, wind picks up. So it's still midday, about lunchtime right now. Yeah. And I'd rather just kind of casually like get the van packed up and have some lunch. Mosey. And mosey on out of here, then be evacuated and use up resources being evacuated. Yeah. They're already using enough resources. <laughs> They're using a lot of resources. <laughs> On one of our first nights in the van, uh, we did camp across from smoldering forest fires. Uh, but that was an already burnt forest that we were in. So it was a little safer than something with all this fresh uh, greenery to burn. So, and plus they were actively monitoring the area on the ground. But when it's an active forest fire like even even though it just started and it could take probably days or weeks to spread into something um serious it could also go up like you know real quick so that's why we're taking all these precautions and another tip to do in case of an emergency is make sure you have a super cute outfit and good shoes in case you got to get out of the car. <laughs> Charlie uh, waited till the planes were gone uh, so he wasn't in the way and he flew the uh, drone back up to see if he could see anything. Um, everything looks okay so far. Um, another thing I wanted to point out that I did to make sure I was visible to the plane so they knew somebody was camping out here is you probably saw me with that pink towel over my shoulders um, just so they could spot me walking around camp just an extra precaution uh, and maybe a tip you guys can use if you're ever in the same situation oh and plus I have our, my red chair out by the creek I didn't see anything too concerning out there, but we're still going to be ready to go at a moment's notice anyway, just to be safe. Packed up, pretty much, and uh, just going to kind of wait it out and see. One thing that sucks about finding a new spot is it Saturday? All the good spots are going to be taken. We may end up having a camp next to somebody, which we don't like. Because we're out here to be out here in nature. Well, we've decided we're uh, going to leave this spot. So we'll see you in the next episode. So excited for some hiking. Oh, well, it was fun. Well, that was fun. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Bye now. Bye now. So this is the back side of that smoke that you saw from the drone shot that was pretty far away. I thought it was further from us, but apparently it wasn't too far. So maybe it's a good, reason, good thing that we left.